Hello, LP Brown artists. It's Mrs. Bloom. This week, we are going to learn about an artist named Tyree Guyton, and he is responsible for a very famous project called the Heidelberg Project. Um, I have this amazing book that I received from a Donors Choose fundraiser, and it's all about his life and his artwork, and we will read that. I also included a link to this video in your Schoology art classroom. So enjoy the book and we'll meet back here and do some artwork inspired by Tyree Guyton. Magic Trash, a story of Tyree Guyton and his art. A winter chill whooshed down Heidelberg Street. Young Tyree Guyton buttoned his coat, pop, his last button flipped into the gutter. He dove after it, then dug through frosty leaves. He pried a popsicle stick from the ice. He hoisted a bicycle wheel off the curb. He scooped up a baseball cap buried in the snow. Pockets clanking, Tyree darted home. A home on the east side of Detroit that already bulged with 10 children. Shop around, Tyree sang along with the radio as he unloaded the day's finds. His mama didn't earn enough money sewing and cleaning to buy new shoes, much less bikes and balls. So he zapped fun into amazing junk that others tossed away. Popsicle sticks became boards to build a house. The cap soared like a rocket ship. The wheel bounced, spokes jumping, dots danced. Let's let rockets fly, boards tower high, bounce, jump, and dance, magic trash. Tyree barely heard the thump thwack of his brother's games while he dreamed up designs. In school, he sat alone, drawing pictures. When his report card arrived, his aunt asked, is Tyree dumb? Maybe crazy, his mama whispered. Then, one sunny day when Tyree was nine, his grandpa Sam, a house painter, plopped a brush into his hands. Paint the world, grandpa said. Tyree dipped into grandpa's cans of color, sloshing purple, slapping yellow, aiming his paintbrush like a magic wand. Abracadabra, Tyree's shyness vanished. Sweet apples crunched when he glopped the red. He'd never seen like her on, but now it splashed in a pool of blue. Like new, Grandpa said of a glistening ladder. Tyree smiled and swirled a shade of green. Other kids on the street giggled and razzed. Look at his green face, ha, green junk. Still, as Tyree zoomed from bent bottle caps to rusty wheels, Grandpa Sam's words twirled in his head. I'm going to be an artist, Tyree said. His mama hung her head, that is not a job. He peered into Grandpa's twinkling eyes. Tyree clenched his brush. He would be an artist, yes. Brush greens and blues on wheels and shoes. Slash, slap, and splash, magic trash. At age 12, Tyree squinted into spiraling smoke as National Guard tanks rolled down nearby Mount Elliott Street. All his life, neighbors had raced out of town to live in new suburbs. Now some who stayed exploded in rage like shaken bottles of Werner's ginger ale. Tyree gawked, teeth chattering. Rioters were burning buildings in his neighborhood. When he grew to be 16, Tyree too left. The shapes and hues of Heidelberg to seek a new life. He marched as a soldier. He inspected cars in a factory. He doused fires as a firefighter, but he never forgot about painting his world. So he enrolled in art school to learn more about colors, lines, and designs. At last, Tyree bolted back home to Heidelberg. When he returned though, his street had changed. Houses sat deserted, creeping with spirits of owners who had run away from the neighborhood. Tyree tripped over trash, lots of trash, and troublemakers lurked. They snuck into hollow houses. They even set fire to one. Woo, spirits whirl, new trouble swirl, kick, burn, and hurl, magic trash. No, cried Tyree, not on this street. 
His mama still lived in the same house. Grandpa Sam painted pictures inside now. Tyree grabbed his brush and burrowed through rubbish. He cast spells on suitcases, toilets, and a slide trombone. Before the colors dried, Grandpa Sam hurried out to help. They painted a busted bus. They tied shoes to trees. They flung broken bikes and cast off tires on burned out buildings and forgotten yards. And they painted faces of God in blue, black, and orange. Their street sparkled. When trouble still sizzled in one discarded home, coated it, Tyree coated it in dots and squares of pink, blue, yellow, and purple, then perched a magenta watchdog on the porch. Dealing thieves hustled from its view, chased away by bright paint and barking trash. Tyree named one home Dotty Wadi and another Funhouse. Spying hungry, crying children, he dangled broken baby dolls on telephone poles and rooftops. Dolls sobbed with each puff of wind. Maybe now others would see. Bright colors flash, scared dealers dash, bark, cry, and swing, magic trash. Some people squawked about the garbage. A few neighbors complained to the city. The mayors and his helpers stomped. Soon bulldozers roared up to the project to crush every doll and board. You can't do that, yelled neighbors as dust swooped to the treetops. Get out of here, others screamed. Tyree's trash is beautiful. Tyree scrambled to snatch a few pieces. This is my art, he cried, but the dots and stripes and baby dolls lay bashed and smashed and still. Tyree rubbed his eyes. Grandpa Sam poked at piles. Old houses talk, some neighbors squawk. Crash, bash, and smash. Magic trash. Art had filled Tyree and Grandpa Sam's lives. Now 93, Grandpa Sam had grown too old to help. Never stop painting, Grandpa said, squeezing Tyree's hand. And then Tyree stood alone with brushes, paint, and trash. He wasn't alone for long, though. We can help, Neighbors called, your colors and dots chased away those thieves. Together they shoveled, swept, and hauled in new trash. Then, after eight years of painting and rebuilding, neighbors heard Wreckers screech for a second time. No, Tyree yelled. Tyree and his neighbors were hopping mad. This street is ours, they said. We'll never quit. They marched downtown to tell their story to a judge and jury. The city argued that Heidelberg Street was a garbage dump. Nope, decided the court, it is art. Tyree's work survived. The next day, Tyree and his neighbors began anew, aiming their brushes like magic wands. Children sang as they hammered and spattered designs. Even former troublemakers returned, ready to rake, sweep, and build. United by trash, they cast a spell on the street, brightening their home for good. Word of Heidelberg Street spread far. It blazed across the air. Folks from Canada, Kenya, and Japan scurried to the neighborhood. They stared. Wow, look at that. Tyree waved his brush. Welcome. In a warm breeze, dots danced, gleaming castoffs jangled and jumped. Let rockets fly, boards tower high. Bounce, jump, and dance. Magic trash. There's Tyree. So this is a true story all about Tyree Guyton's life. And in 2011, the Heidelberg Project celebrated its 25th anniversary. So it's going on about 35 years now of this magic track. I hope that you enjoyed that story and you were just as inspired as I was by that magic trash. My daughter and I created our own magic trash mural during the quarantine time from about March to September. And we collected all these bottle caps and wrappers and all kinds of garbage and created our own mural. So my challenge for you is to collect some garbage, stay safe with it though, like make sure it's clean garbage, and see if you can make your own magic trash.
Now, don't decorate any houses like the ones you see here unless you have an adult's permission to do that. But think of how you can create your own magic trash. Dig through your recycling bin. What can you make from garbage? So this week you have a couple choices. You can go ahead and create some magic trash using any garbage, recycling you can find, tape, glue, or you can do this project where we're going to create our own little city block, could be apartments, houses, and decorate them the way that Tyree Guyton would have done it. So creating our own little Heidelberg project on paper. So. What you will do first is get your paper into the horizontal landscape direction and fold the paper in half. Then you're going to fold it again. So you have one long skinny piece. Next, we are going to create the roof shape by creating a triangle on top. And I'm just going to cut these two little triangles off to create the pointy house shape. And I'm gonna cut through the entire piece of paper there. Okay, so your paper should look like that. And then you'll open it up. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four different roofs. Now at this point, you can decide, do you want these to be apartments? Should they be houses, like townhouses? Do you wanna draw a car in front, a tree? I'm gonna go ahead and start by drawing a car in front of the house here. So. Curve the top. Spot for the tires. And who knows, maybe this car is like a broken down car that someone left behind and it hasn't been taken away. And then are we gonna draw like stuffed animals all over it, dolls, cover it in paint, whatever that may be. Next, I'm gonna create the windows here. And we need the door. I'll just draw a handle. It's not the best car, but it does the trick. Okay, maybe a tree. He typically has like um, clocks hanging off of the trees. So you could draw some clocks on there. giant tree. Next, I'm going to add some windows and doors, um, maybe some trash hanging from the rooftops, whatever it might be. I'm going to do a time lapse for that. Go ahead and add whatever designs you want. Again, just thinking of what we read about and what we watched um, with Tyree Guyton.
here is my finished product a wacky wild little neighborhood here I did a rainbow street I'm picturing that there's garbage glued onto this car and painted windows Tyree Guyton did a lot of faces or does a lot of faces in his artwork so I hope you guys had fun and I hope that you can create some magic trash